What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Royal Rants, and I'm back. I'm doing my dreads again. I know that maybe I have lost some viewers and you know some subscribers because I haven't told y'all that I'm doing dreads again. But man, I was watching my video, my older dread videos today, dude, and it's just like they inspire me. You know what I mean? So it's like I know I cut my dreads off, and that was probably something that I don't regret because I don't regret nothing I did in life. Everything I've ever done has had a reason for it. If I could go back, I would do it all over again. I would have never cut them off. This is just me letting you guys know that I will be doing semi free form dreads again. Now that I have had the experience and the knowledge of starting them, I'm going to start them a little bit different. I'm pretty sure the way I'm going to start them, because I do know my hair from my past experience with dreads, the way that I'm starting it this time is going to be a lot more different than I did last time. I'm going to still do the towel method with, with the microfiber towel. I'm going to still do that. I'm not going to use no products at all whatsoever, no locking gels, no, uh, no permades, no grease, no nothing. Period. Nothing. I'm just going to do natural, straight natural, water, shampoo, conditioner, and that's it, literally. Today, I have went ahead and started the towel method. If you don't know, I do have videos on that in the past. So if you just go to my channel, click on my channel, go down to my, my they're actually the, one of the most popular videos on my channel. So if you want to know a little bit about that, just go ahead and watch those videos. As I, uh, you know, go through this process, I will be making new videos on that. But for now, if you want to learn how to do that, just go ahead and watch my older videos. And this is what it started looking like so far. Right now, all I'm doing, all I did today was just start the separation process. Every day I wake up, every night I go to sleep, and I'm going to wear a do-rag every night I go to sleep so it protects my hair from the frizziness and the, uh, and just, you know, from the damage that happens when you sleep. So this is what it looks like so far. I've took a towel. I don't have a microfiber towel right now. I just have a regular towel. So with this length of hair, if you do have this length of hair, this is what it would look like if you do do the towel method with a regular towel. The one con to using a regular towel is it doesn't grab your hair. The fibers on the towel doesn't grab your hair like a microfiber towel, but it still does the same job as when it comes to separation. So this is what it's looking like right now. All I did was saturate the towel in water, just soak the towel in water. Uh, I wring the water out a little bit, not all the way, just so I ain't got water all over the place. But the majority of the towel was really, really wet. You know what I mean? So. That's what it's looking like now. It looks like naps, you know what I mean? And that's how dreads are formed. They're formed out of naps. So what I just did today was just to start the beginning of the separation process. If you are at my stage right now or you want to watch how this process goes, go ahead and subscribe. I will be making a lot more videos on dreads. You feel me? So as my hair gets longer, more videos are going to come out. You feel me? So I'm going to be doing monthly updates. So this is just my update number one to, you know, to document my process, my new process, because I am restarting my dreads stuff. And I do take this. This is like the, the hair growth product right here. It's biotin. You know what I mean? And basically what biotin is, it's the stuff in your fingernails and the stuff in your hair and it also helps your skin. So when you take this, you will notice that your hair does grow a lot faster. It's not like a cheat code or anything like that. It's not going to get you an in, a inch of hair in a week or nothing like that. It's just going to, it's just putting things in your body that's going to promote hair growth a lot faster than they would just off your regular diet. So if you add this to your diet, you will notice that your hair does grow faster than it normally would so biotin definitely is a key to growing out your hair so i do take biotin if you are interested you you're thinking about growing your treads out or you're you know what i mean you're in the the blue about it go ahead, go back and watch my older videos the thing that's going to be different with these dreads i'm growing out now which i kind of wish that i would have did back in the day i think that might have been uh one of the reasons why i didn't grow my hair out my dreads out longer than I did is because I had a high top, you know what I mean? And I love the high top dreads. I love them. But I feel like as my hair would have got longer, I would have started wanting wanting uh, a different, not necessarily a full head of dreads, but maybe more dreads. You feel me? I, want, I, I did in the back, always in the back of my head before want long, want more dreads. I wanted, because I do got a taper on all sides of my head. 
You feel me? So, and I just kind of felt like I would be more comfortable with that. So now that I do have it, I have the hairstyle for it. Now I'm going to just grow the dreads out of this hairstyle. So basically, I just got to taper. Another thing I'm thinking about doing, I might switch over to this when my hair gets a lot longer, is I might go to the uh, the faux hawk dreads or the uh, mohawk dreads, you feel me? So that is a possibility too. I won't be going back to the high top dreads. I did it, and when I was doing it, I kind of had this urge to have more dreads, more hair on my head than just the high top, you feel me? So if you do have a high top dreads, I do have videos for that. That's the... My first dread journey, that's what I had. So if you have any questions, anything in particular, the high top dreads, just go back and watch those older videos. They're very easy to find. When you click on my, my channel, that, those are like the first videos that pop up in my most popular videos. So if you have any questions about it, just go ahead and check those out. Another thing that I'm thinking about doing when my hair gets longer is dyeing my hair again back to that like blondish brown color. I like that a lot. I like the different colors that it has so i'm possibly gonna do that again and that that's when my hair gets a lot longer though not now because it's just too early in the stage for me to be comfortable doing that but if you're interested in that go ahead and subscribe i love y'all royal nation the dread videos are packed and they won't stop i promise my 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 hair goal as of right now is to grow my hair out for two years as of right now i'm 21 just turned 21 july 9th and two birthdays from now i will be reaching my hair goal and we're going to see where it goes from there. I'm Most likely at that point, I'm going to still keep growing them out because I've adjusted so much to them. But that's just what my first goal that I want to reach short term with my hair. So I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Go ahead and give it a like. If you enjoyed the video, it gives me feedback on what y'all like to see. And I love y'all, Royal Nation. We out here. We going to the top. Grind will never, ever, ever, ever stop. I love y'all. Deuces.